Hey everybody, it's Michelle, and welcome to A Day in the Life with me. Today's video will be our wheel series. I believe we are on 55, and this will be the first look. Do you want to see what the palette has, or the wheel has chosen for us today? Keep on watching. Well, well, we love yourself. smaller nine pan palettes from Morphe. This is the 9J and it is uh, just a crush. It says it right up there. Hopefully that's in focus. Everything's blurry to me because I don't have my glasses on. So there is the outer carton. It does show a picture of the colors on the back. And here is the container does have a nice size mirror on this side and it does come with a protector that has the shade names on it so I am just going to show you this away so as you can see there are nine pans um, that bright pink one in the center of course is you know where my eyes draw to because you know your girl loves her pink I think today I'm gonna go with a more bold look and then do a more neutral look on Thursday what do you guys think now, let me grab out some brushes and sort of kind of make a plan, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I am back and I grabbed some brushes. So I think, I think I'm just going to jump right on in, and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and just kind of bring that through. Wait, yep, that one. Oh no, let's go with the lighter one. <laughs> Just to try and just to see the color pigmentation. I mean, this isn't the most dense brush. Brush. It is a very fluffy blending brush. There is a lot of kick up in this pan, so I'm pro. Ooh, there we go. Um, my guess is, is I probably should have actually done my base last but there's no really I don't see any fallout on my cheek or anything so I'm just gonna put this all over the lid and I'll do the other eye and I will be right back okay so I used the color switch and I got all it well as much as I could get off on the color switch now I'm just going to go over it just to lighten it up a little bit because I did get it a little dark, darker than I wanted to. So I'm just going to go over both eyes just to lighten them both up a little bit. So let me know guys, are you enjoying the wheel? I did see on one of my previous videos where I asked if anyone wanted to see the filming area and there were a few of you that said that you did. So. I will probably work on that this coming weekend um, just to see if I can get that filmed because there are still a few things that I want to get done um, before filming so that I'm actually completely, compare, completely prepared. Okay, so now I'm going to take the same brush and I cleaned off some more on the color switch and I'm going to go in with this deep purple. Now, I'm going to take this, um, it is from the ELF uh, Cookies and Cream collection, it's just like a, it's not really stiff, but it's not, you know, like a packer brush or anything, it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I'm going to take that darker purple, again, a lot of dust up in the pan. And I just want to make this outer corner darker. You know, it's, I seem to do the same look all the time. And I know that. I need to work on doing some different looks. It's always I'm deepening up the outer corner. I'm just going to keep applying this until I get the color payoff that I want. And then I'll do the same thing to the other eye. And we'll be back. All right, so now I'm going to take that same fluffy brush that I put the first color on with 
and I'm just going to blend through those two shades just to lighten it up a wee bit more. So that's going to have to be good enough. Now for the shimmery shades. I'm going to take this, I have no idea, oh here it is, it is an elf, I don't know, something. It's like a, oh what are these called, concealer brush. And I'm going to go in with that bright pink on the concealer brush and just spread that here in the sort of inner portion but not actually to the corner and well I don't know if you can see I'll try to zoom it in but there is a lot of fallout right in here from this shade which shimmery shades do sometimes have fallout That is actually a lot. Okay, now let me try with my finger. It's always better pay off with your finger, but I can't get precise because I have fat fingers. Okay, so I did have to clean up quite a bit down here underneath the eye. I, I'm trying to go between, I don't know if I want to do this one. I think I'm going to end up doing this shade in the inner corner. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so I am going to put on liner, mascara, and a lip, and clean up a little more, and I will be right back. Okay, so here is our finished eye look. Um, it is very, very pink. <laughs> um, it's I, I, I did not intend for it to be this pink, but it is what it is. Um, on my waterline, I am using this white liner from Cara Beauty. It's just called white. And then on my lips, I went in with another Cara Beauty. This is in Fantasy. And this is just a matte liquid lip. And I wanted a little bit more shimmer, which doesn't really look like it did a whole lot. I got this... Um, gloss from it's Michaela uh, Glam Light. I got it from Just Jessica. She sent it to me in a care package. And I like the way the gloss feels on my mouth. It doesn't like make your lips sticky. They feel moisturized. So these are the extra things that I have on that are not part of the project pan. Everything else is project pan and as always it'll all be listed down in the description box below. So tell me, are you excited to see what I create with those other shades? I mean, I guess you could call it a, a more neutral look because I'll be using everything in this row and this color right here and that color. Yeah, so I'll be using this letter C. Oh no, not that one, because I used that one. So, no, yeah, it is this one. So here, 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 and here is what I will be using on Thursday to create that look. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited. And if you enjoyed the video, I would greatly appreciate it. I would, just like I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Please make sure you are subscribed. I have noticed about 20% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel. So if you wouldn't mind, it would mean the absolute world if you could go over and make sure you are subscribed. Ring that notification bell so you're notified of each and every upload. I want to do a giveaway once I hit 500. I'm not sure what I'm at right now. I think it's 345. But again, it keeps going down, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. But once I hit 500, I do plan on doing a, a pretty decent sized giveaway. So if you don't mind sharing me out to your friends and family, I would appreciate it. And as always, guys, you know the drill. Be kind to one another. And know you are loved, you are appreciated, and you, yes you, are important. Bye, guys.